हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एम्ब्रियोलॉजी व्हाट इज एम्ब्रियोलॉजी एंड व्हाट इज गैमेटोजेनेसिस एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड गैमेटोजेनेसिस इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस एंड ओजेनेसिस नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस जेनेसिस मीन्स प्रोडक्शन और वी कैन से फॉर्मेशन प्रोडक्शन और फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वॉट ऑफ स्पर्म्स स्पर्माटो फॉर स्पर्म्स Sperms are also known as spermatozoa. Zoa is for plural. For singular, it is written as spermatozoon. That is sperm or spermatozoon. This is singular. Plural is zoa. That means production of sperms. Let's just write down the definition. What is the definition? The production of the the production of the of haploid male gametes what are male gametes the sperms are spermatozoa what are sperms from the diploid spermatogonia spermatogonia sperm mother cell i told haploid haploid means what when a cell consists of n one set of chromosomes and it is represented as n what is diploid when the cell consists of two set of chromosomes in human two set of chromosomes means 46 chromosome or 23 pairs of chromosomes whereas haploid means that is one set of chromosome that means 23 chromosomes now what is spermatogonia spermatogonia are the sperm mother cells sperm mother cells these sperm mother cells or spermatogonia are the successors of the primordial germ cells these are the successor spermatogonia are the successor means are derived from primordial germ cells and what are primordial germ cells the primordial germ cells are derived from the endodermal layer of the yolk sac posterior part of the endodermal layer of the yolk sac let us write down the yolk sac endodermal endodermal layer of yolk sac from that means remember this is yolk sac in the embryonic stage from this 
the primordial germ cell serides primordial germ cells arise and they travel they migrate to the developing gonad along the hind gut they migrate along hind gut hind gut means posterior part of the gut means elementary canal primitive stage of the elementary canal because i am talking about the early embryonic stage in the early embryonic stage from the yolk sac the primordial germ cells which are arised from endodermal layer from the posterior part of the endoderm of the yolk sac pgcs these are commonly known as pgcs pgcs are arise and they migrate along the hind gut then where they enter they enter into enter into the gonad enter into the gonads it is not specific these primordial germ cells when they migrate they are not specific but after entering into the gonad they become specific they enter into into the gonads after reaching the gonad they become specific gametogonia what i am telling they become specific gametogonia what i told the primordial germ cells arise from yolk sac the endoderm of the yolk sac means from the endodermal layer the pgc primordial germ cells arise they travel through along the migrate along the migrate along hind gut enters into the gonads in the gonads after reaching the gonads they divide to specific gametogonia in the gonad they become specific gametogonia gamet mother cell gametogonia means gamet mother cell there if that embryo is a female the gonads are ovaries within the developing ovaries they become oogonia or if it is the male fetus male embryo then these pgcs after reaching the gonads that is that means if the embryo is uh, the fetus is uh, male male fetus then these pgcs divide to become spermatogonia so they may be spermatogonia or they may be oogonia depending upon the type of embryo and within this type which gonad is it ovary or is it testis main thing to remember in the embryo how the gonad develops if the sri gene is there if sri gene sex determining region on y chromosome it is a gene present on the y chromosome if sri gene is present then if influence present then 
it influence it influences or it regulates influences the development of development of testis development of testis if rising is not present then the gonads develop into ovaries in the absence of rising ovaries are developed okay understood now i was telling you the haploid male gametes that is haploid sperms are produced from diploid spermatogonia now did you get understood what is spermatogonia they are originally the primordial germ cells primordial means remember primordial means primitive that means you can say the first stage first form of the germ cell germ cell germ of sex cell first form now when it occurs when it starts let us discuss spermatogenesis begins at puberty in the boys it begins at puberty puberty the time when the sex organs becomes mature that means when the gonads are ready to start the production of the gametes that is called that from that time uh, the that time is called puberty the time at which the at which a boy or a girl attains the sexual maturity that means the gonads become mature to develop to produce the sperms it begins at puberty at the age of 13 to 15 years and it continues it continues to the old days on like the oogenesis that happens in females it continues to the old days only there is a difference because of the hyposecretion means less secretion in old age the process of spermatogenesis in old age the process of spermatogenesis declines in old age it declines it means spermatogenesis it declines means decreases the production of sperms the uh, process of spermatogenesis or the production of sperm decreases in the old age due to the hyposecretion of hyposecretion of testosterone okay testes are the primary sex organ as we know the sperms or the eggs that means the gametes are produced inside the primary sex organ in males the primary sex organ are the testes is 
the sperm production of sperm occurs inside the testes and as the spermatogenesis requires 2 to 2.5 degree less temperature it requires 2 to 2 to 2 2.5 degree celsius less temperature than that of body than the body temperature so the testes are extra abdominal located within the scrotal sex testes are extra abdominal they are located within the scrotal sex within the scrotum in the respective scrotal sex within the scrotum that means the left testis located within the left scrotal sac and right testis located within the right scrotal sac because it requires 2.2 to 2.5 degree less temperature that's why they are located within the scrotum outside the abdominal cavity even though they are originated within the abdominal cavity they descend into the respective scrotal sac under the influence of FSH and testosterone. At what time? Just recall already we have studied. During the 7 month fetal stage. Okay. In so, spermatogenesis occurs inside the testes. Let us look into the testes. And let us see how it occurs within the testes. Before going to that, let us discuss two more terms. I told you that it begins at puberty that is at the age about 13 to 15 years. This beginning of the beginning of spermatogenesis in boys is called already you have discussed in the earlier video is called spermark or semenark the beginning of the spermatogenesis is called spermark or seminar which starts or actually the spermatogenesis begins on the onset of puberty or when the gonads attains the sexual maturity. So now let us look into the testicular structure. Look into the structure where the spermatogenesis occurs. The spermatogenesis occurs within the seminiferous tubule. Exactly within the seminiferous tubule. 